Ngojian, ngojian. Eh, sawa. Apa kau pun? Tung ngojian. Yo, what's up guys? It's Rose Bafandu. Welcome to my channel. I hope you find it. I hope you're great. And I hope this video finds you well. I I really hope you're doing great. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing really great. Uh, this week, I feel more energetic, more motivated. Yeah, I'm kind of burning my energy is back um and i think this is mostly because i've been trying to eat clean for the last couple of days i know i've made it some kind of habit that after some time i have like this vegetarian week this vegan week this whatever because i think my body needs some kind of a break from the from the animal product sometimes and uh I, I always notice whenever I have like this uh, vegetarian week or vegan week that my skin becomes clearer, I start glowing, my energy is back, I am motivated to do more sports, at work I'm just lively and there, which is not the case when I'm taking too much of the animal products. So yeah, if you think you might be feeling a little down, a little weak, um, unmotivated, a little low, try leaving out the animal products for a while you will see wonders yeah if you're interested in such topics i will gladly make a video for you telling you how i go about it and if it's um of a costly um exercise or practice um yeah just let me know at the comments below today is wednesday and welcome to another wednesday video and in today's video, we want to look at things that will confuse you as a German. I will just talk mainly about Germans because I don't know about uh, people from other countries. But things that will confuse you as a German when you go to Kenya. The other day I made a, a video about things that will con confuse me about German. And I thought it would be interesting to look at things the other way around if a German goes to Kenya. What are the things that might surprise them? If you want to find out what those things are, please stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. <coughs> Alright, without wasting any of your time, let's get straight to the video. Point number one. The one first thing that will confuse you when you go to Kenya are the different languages. You will think you're going to Kenya and it's like an uh, English colony, so they'll speak English. And maybe you might have heard of Swahili, which is like an East African country uh, language. But then you reach in Kenya and you are like a boo, <laughs> bombarded with all these different languages and you will be really confused. And this is because in Kenya, we have um, 42 different tribes. Each tribe uh, speaks a different language and even within each tribe there are some minute differences depending on the area that people come from in that tribe. For example, if you're talking about the Meru, which is my tribe, you will find there is the North Imenti, the South Imenti, the Daraka, and they are just this little bit dire dialect differences in the Meru language yeah crazy so yeah the language that is the one thing that might confuse you when you go to Kenya point number two woo if you are a German coming straight from Germany and you land in Kenya you will be confused about the Kenyan public transportation yeah because in Kenya, our public transportation, these are these small little um, mini buses or like, like, like a VW bus, something like that. And um, they just travel either um, intercity or even regional. They, they take all different kinds of distances. That is not the confusing part. <laughs> The confusing part is there is mostly not a particular timetable written down 
when a particular matatu, these mini bars, will be arriving at the particular station. And so you will be waiting sometimes for hours before the next matatu comes to take you to the city center or to take you to some kind of other destination. Another thing is uh, about public pu public transportation in Kenya that might confuse you is that you will find these um, yeah conductors that's how we call them conductors that will be screaming out of the door of the matatu like the place that minibus is going to so you'll be hearing things like Karen Karen or Kedurai Kedurai or Embu Meru um yeah and then you will know oh this one is going to Karen this one is going to Embu this one is going to Vika yeah and then you just enter the matatu so it, it's a whole confusing thing but after some time you just get get used to it and then it becomes so normal it becomes so normal but at first confusion the third thing that might confuse you about kenya will be definitely the prices okay yeah and this is because kenya is a very touristic country and most retail retailers they have like um different prices for different people who come by so if you come by and you are just talking your german or your french they will be like "Ooh, these are tourists these folks have got some money so they will just give you like three times the amount that thing cost instead of uh, giving you the real price because if you come speaking some Swahili, they'll be like, oh, this is a native, he's got no money. And then they'll just give you the normal price. Another thing about prices that will confuse you in Kenya is that the price they give you, that price offer that they give you, bargain. Bargain maybe to half of it. Yeah, so bargaining is a major major activity when you are going like shopping in kenya i don't mean in the supermarket of course but i, I mean when you are outside if you're buying groceries or if you're buying some artistic stuff if you're buying even clothes which are like outside yeah do some bargaining the prices that they give you these are not fixed prices they are due to go down a little bit if you give your own price offer yeah so if you don't know it's a little confusing but now you know don't get confused don't get and don't get conned the fourth thing that will confuse you when you go to kenya will be the timing yes my dear i struggled with this when i came to germany the first time because man we kenyans take our time doing whatever anything everything actually there is a saying in swahili which says haraka haraka haina baraka which which translate like faster faster has no blessing so you better do things slowly to collect those blessings of yours and even there's another one which goes pole pole and your mundo which translates like slowly slowly that's our pace yeah so yeah so Kenyans, we are generally slow <laughs> in doing things. So this might annoy you, confuse you, and get you a little bit angry if you are not used to it. Because uh, Germans are quite hectic whenever they are doing stuff and they are doing, even when you're doing some grocery, they're like, and it's done, and it's done. In Kenya, you'll be like, all right. Why, Germany? Ah, okay. Hako. Eh, sawa. Ako kwa phone. Tungoje. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Crazy. You will be like, I'm still waiting here, but no, they take their time. And another thing, when it comes to timing. When you have some appointments with Kenyans, do 
can't take that appointment time so seriously because Kenyans add some one plus two hours on top. <laughs> if you made your appointment at one, they will start coming at yeah, two, at three. Because for us, it's kind of at one. <laughs> we will be there at one. So yeah, yeah, don't get confused when you have a party and tell people they should come at six and they start arriving at eight or at six there is no one there and you're like oh my god they left me hanging no no they're still coming at the right kenyan time <laughs> yeah so don't get confused the fifth thing that might confuse you when you are in kenya you germans when you're in kenya will be the shopping because normally in germany and i am specifically talking about grocery shopping when you are shopping in Germany, you just go to the supermarket and you have everything there, <laughs> right? In Kenya, no, we don't have fruits and vegetables in the supermarket. These you get outside at the street market where farmers from all over the country come and bring all kinds of products and sell them in open air. So don't get confused when you're in the supermarket you're like oh these Kenyans don't eat fruits they don't eat vegetables what the hell is happening here no the fruits and vegetables are outside only the other kind of grocery is in the supermarket so yeah those were my five things that might confuse you as a German when you go to Kenya if you've been to Kenya let me know did any of these five confuse you if they did, please let me know or share with us, please, at the comments below. And uh, if you're planning to go to Kenya, I hope now this was a little bit of a help. Thank you so much for watching this far. And I think if you've watched this far, it would be kind if you just clicked that subscription button. It's free of charge. And actually, in fact, I will wait. Thank you so much. That was very nice of you. And if you like the video, yeah, you can also give it that thumbs up. Thank you so much. Until next time, please be safe, stay blessed and optimistic. Until then, ciao.